Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Drundalai Sundrop Edition. It's time for fun. I wonder who put the sign here that says fun. Big outside world. Pyramid. But weren't you already? Whatever. Off we go. A pyramid, apparently. Imitation pyramid, uh oh. And big, too. What's it love to deal with big buildings? I don't think that was the right expression for patching right then. Whatever. Oh man. Are you gonna be like traveling the world like Kororimpa or something? Do you need to start go collecting stump temple pieces? That doesn't sound like a thing SpongeBob would say. At least not without changing the word man to something else. A fish or sponge or doodle. Anyways, oh, and immediately something else to draw. A net. So just to swat things away. Do I have any or Okay. Of course, first of all, we always just want to see how big. Oh my god. <laughs> It's always so huge. Alright. So in that case, what do you want to do with this? I don't have any immediate ideas for things to knock stuff away with. Um, I, I'm only thinking like some kind of sword type of thing. I can't think of any particularly notable swords in any game I've played. Unless my memory is just failing me. I don't usually play games that are based in melee weapons, do I? Do I? I don't know. But what's something that deflects? You make a mirror. I'm kind of tempted to do that, actually. like this. Nah, it doesn't reach his hand until it goes pretty much all the way off to the side. So mirror has to be really long. Okay, so this is where his hand is. Down here. It's kind of weird. But, okay. So I'll have to retry that then everything's level. I seem to get an idea of precisely where his hand is. Come on, man. No! Why does that have to be so difficult? I looked, by the way, into trying to find a way to get it to show where my where I'm clicking at any given point without showing my mouse itself. I haven't been able to find anything that does that. At least not without me installing some kind of extra program, which isn't really my intention. But unfortunately, you guys still can't see where I'm clicking. But I assure you, it, it's not where the game's actually responding. Or we could just make like a tennis racket. I know any notable tennis rackets, so I did once play. Yeah, come on, man. Did once play Sega Superstar Tennis. Sega Superstars Tennis. But nobody really had notable rackets in that game. Not as far as I remember, at least. They're all just like the color of the person you're playing as. But it would be an idea, at least. Should I fix this whole part up a little bit?
Okay, how about we just do this one part manually? Something like that. Make it a racket in any case. Whatever I end up actually deciding that this racket is, whatever its most notable features are, it is in fact a racket. I guess for gaming purposes, you generally kind of want to make the objects pretty large too for collisions, making sense and all that. Even, but it looks ridiculous to make this the full size it's supposed to be. Okay, can I at least just look up an image of the cover of Superstar Tenders or something, and see if anybody has well any kind of visible color on the rackets. I think Beat has like a green racket or something. I think he's on the box art too, if I remember right. No, he's not. Never mind. I don't know. Can I at least see somebody's racket? So I, for whatever reason, has a red one, which isn't really the most intuitive color in my mind, but whatever. All the promotional art is all in Green Hill Zone. I heard the racket's not visible in any of these, except for Sonic's. And I was kind of fixed out of looking for beats just for the sake of... Oh, here we go. It being a game I was looking for. Alright, I'll go with that. So... so beat for whatever reason has this weird lemon lime color scheme going on. Well, I guess we should also have the actual grip of the thing, too. Okay. There. And then it's kind of split in a weird way. Between the two colors. Ah. There we go. So another oddly obscure thing I ended up drawing. Beats Racket from Sacred Superstars Dennis. Whatever though, that's something. More things related to games I've played. Which is kind of well ideas I think that makes this more interesting to me at least. Makes it personalized. Okay. This record's as big as I am. Ha! <laughs> Is this how it's gonna work? Oh. That's how it works. So I basically just spam on him. Because apparently... Ah, oh, come on. So apparently just spamming my attacks is a pretty good way of approaching us. Oh hey, why can't he teleport but not me? There you go, this is how it's gonna work. I forgot about the erasing mechanic. Don't swing that about when I don't tell you to. So I'm gonna have to be careful of course. So awkward erasing this with the trackpad. I wonder how much quicker you can get through these erasing segments if you're on an actual DS. Hey! Oh man, I actually have to hit him now. Okay, so I don't actually have to worry about what. So I have lives to worry about, but if I die, it just resets the whole thing, anyways. 
to die. I don't want exactly that to happen. But anyways, this lets me attack in the air the same way the glove does. So it's basically just a better glove, it feels like. More range and uh, block projectiles. Which makes me feel like kind of a rehash, but whatever. So you can't exactly stunlock him, which is probably good. Ah, how, come on, how do one actually have to hit me? Rate of fire is not what it could be, but it actually means that you have time and not be cheap, so it's not exactly a bad thing. It's more just that I'm disappointed at actually having to put in some amount of effort. Oh, well, he's probably gonna run at me right now. Hey. Do I have to throw that off myself? Yeah, so I had to... That was interesting. I actually have to clean stuff off myself. Get off. Okay, having to multitask like this is not ideal for me. Hey, come on now. Stop being invincible. And now then. At least... I get a pretty dumb number of lives before I start the fight, just from having not been bad at the game until now. I'm vaguely amused by some of the attacks he has, at least. Put him on now. I don't really get the smoke thing, but how he actually produces more goop stuff that actually is relevant. It's kind of nice. Okay, so you don't fully erase him, which I guess makes sense. But, I why can't we design these heart containers? I want to make them golden underwear, or something related to that. Some other idea from a game I've actually played. What? What do you mean, them? I'm doing all the work here. How do you take both of them simultaneously? Wait, summary? What? Power underwater. That's rock bottom, but we're not going to rock bottom, are we? Why can't this game just acknowledge the actual ex locations of the, <laughs> the show universe and use them? Because it's making up areas that really could have been something from the show, but aren't. Which is really weird. Like, we could have had the industrial park. Because we had an area that looked exactly like it. We could have had kelp for us because we had an area that looked exactly like it. But they're not acknowledging them as those places from the show. We better go to the moon by taking Sandy's rocket. I swear, if this game does not acknowledge <laughs> anything from the show. Because so I'm guessing there's nothing for us to draw. So we're probably at the end of the episode. Can we buy the new, uh... Yeah, we can buy the net now. Didn't say anything, say there was anything new here, I don't think, but... I'll go, for now at least, up buying lives. I'll see if I can get through this game organically. Let's see if anybody else is interested in talking, though. We haven't saved anyone new, so I don't think so. I just wanted to know. If not, then that'll be that for this episode. Let's play Drawn by Sunjo Squarepants Edition. See you guys next time, next episode, when we go to the deep sea, which is to definitely not rock bottom for some reason. Whatever. Bye, guys.